Okay, so I got a hot one for you guys. It was just reported last night by Buster Only. He believes that the New York Mets will acquire one of Trevor Story, Chris Bryant, or Javi Baez at this year's trade deadline. So today, I'm going to break down each of those guys, let you know who I think is the best fit for the New York Mets. What's up, guys? I'm Tony Metro. I make weekly videos on Major League Baseball. It's going to be a crazy week with rumors and moves, and this is the place to get your coverage for all of them. So be sure to subscribe and also turn channel notifications on so you know when I post a new video. So let me start by saying I'm a huge Mets fan. It's been a pretty tough life being a Mets fan. I'm not going to even lie to you, but I'm here to tell you these are not your dad's New York Mets. Just this offseason, Steve Cohen flexed his muscle as new owner of the Mets. They acquired Francisco Lindor, signed him to a mega deal among other big free agent signings, and the team currently sits in first place but they need a few improvements specifically in the starting rotation that's been getting injured and at third base. They've been linked to numerous trade targets this last month, including Adam Frazier before he was traded to the San Diego Padres, Josh Donaldson and Jose Barrios, and even as recently as today, Washington Nationals starting pitcher Max Scherzer. But on Sunday Night Baseball, Buster only reported that he believes that the Mets will land one of Trevor Story, Chris Bryant, or Javi Baez. Now, little disclaimer here, Buster only has a very interesting history of predicting big time players to the New York Mets. This last offseason only said that he would bet his family farm that the Mets would sign George Springer. And we all know how that went. So by no means is this a guarantee that the Mets will get one of those three players, but we're going to break down each of them and see who is the best fit for the team. So the Mets lineup is very left-handed heavy. Really the only power hitter that hits right-handed is Pete Alonso, but it's not enough. They need some more to help balance it out. All of Trevor Story, Chris Bryant, and Javi Baez are right-handed, so they all check that box off. The Mets need a third baseman more than they need a shortstop. Francisco Lindor is locked up for 10 years. He's currently battling with an oblique injury, but should be back in the next couple of weeks. Chris Bryant has the most defensive versatility of all these three players and fits the Mets' need of third base, but they could consider moving Story to third base when Francisco Lindor gets healthy. Meanwhile, Javi Baez hasn't played third base since 2019, but he could be shifted to second base and the Mets put Jonathan VR and Jeff McNeil at third. All of these players we know are eligible for free agency at the end of this year. So any of these three guys would be a rental and the Mets would have to re-sign them if they want them for 2022 and beyond. So with all those variables considered relatively equal, let's jump more into their stats and figure out who makes the most sense for the New York Mets to acquire. Chris Bryant had a great first two months to start the 2021 season. He had an average over 300, an OBP over 412 home runs, but since June 1st in his last 38 games, he has just four home runs and his batting average is below 200. And this is cause for concern for me because Chris Bryant has not been a consistent producer for the Cubs over the last few years, ever since he hurt his shoulder in 2017. So far this year in 85 games, Trevor Story has 12 home runs, but last year in 59 games, he had 11. Now there's a few reasons that could explain that the ball seems to have been dead and power numbers are down across the board and he's no longer hitting behind Nolan Arenado. But as we all know, home and road splits are something you have to pay attention to for Rockies hitters. This year at home, he's hitting 291, but on the road, he's hitting under 200. Javi Baez probably has the best numbers out of all three of these guys. He has 22 home runs and 67 RBIs, but the part I don't like so much his on-base percentage is below 300 and he strikes out a ton. It's almost unfathomable to have 22 home runs in a season and an OPS plus of 107 and that's where Javi Baez finds himself right now. So all these players have their warts. None of them are having extremely productive seasons at the plate and they're all rentals. But what could help the Mets is the ability to acquire other players in a potential deal with either of these teams. As I mentioned, the Mets are in desperate need of some more starting pitching and could even use some help in their bullpen as well. Personally, for my money, I'd love to see the Mets go after Herman Marquez from the Rockies, but manager Bud Black has said he isn't going anywhere. He has a very team-friendly contract and they're not interested in trading him. But his teammate, John Gray, could be available. He's having a good season with the Rockies, a 3.67 ERA and an ERA plus of 126. He's going to be a free agent at season's end, and the Rockies should definitely be looking to trade him if they want to jumpstart a rebuild. The Cubs, on the other hand, have some relief options that could help the Mets. Kimbrell's been lights out this year. In 35 innings pitch, he's given up just six runs, and he's going to be the number one trade target for any team looking to acquire relief pitching. Honestly, this is really tough for me because I like all three of these hitters, but I have to factor in what else can the Mets get from one of these teams. And for me, with the impending return of Carlos Carrasco and hopefully Noah Syndergaard in September, 
September. I think the Mets need to focus more on their bullpen in any trade for a slugger. So because of that, I think the Mets should look to make a deal with the Cubs for either Javi Baez or Chris Bryant and try to get one of their relievers like Andrew Chafin or Craig Kimbrell. Now it's just a matter of Javi Baez or Chris Bryant. I really like Chris Bryant. I really like Javi Baez, but if I'm going for one of them, I'm picking Javi Baez. Javi Baez has an on-base percentage below 300 and he strikes out a million times, but there's no denying what a lightning rod player he is. An up the middle defense of him and Francisco Lindor would easily be the best double play combination in all of baseball. And if the Mets could find a way to get Craig Kimbrell to solidify their bullpen, they have my money for winning the National League pennant. In a previous video, a Mets trade proposal for Chris Bryant, I said I wasn't willing to trade any of the Mets top five prospects to acquire Chris Bryant, who's just a rental and been inconsistent for the better part of the last four years. But if we're talking about a trade that includes Craig Kimbrell, who has control for 2022, I'm willing to start it out with shortstop prospect Ronnie Mauricio. Mauricio is a shortstop, a former international signing by the Mets. He had a $2.1 million signing bonus and has been absolutely killing it in single A. The last 10 games, he has three home runs, 12 RBIs, and a slug percentage just below 500. Mauricio would replace Baez and hopefully be the shortstop of the future for the team. Although he is pretty lengthy, he's six foot three. He could end up moving over to third base. The Mets will have to send a little bit more, but again, because they're taking on the contract of Craig Kimball, I don't expect it to be someone in the top 15 in the Mets farm system. So if I'm the Mets, I'm targeting Javi Baez to play second base, moving Jeff McNeil over to third and bringing in Craig Kimball to lock down that bullpen for the team. So Mets fans, it's time to hear from you guys. Tell me in the comment section below of Chris Brown, Ryan, Trevor Story, and Javi Baez, who would you target to bring in at the trade deadline? And would you be willing to trade Ronnie Mauricio or one of the other top five prospects in the Mets system if it meant getting another reliever or starting pitcher in that trade? And also be sure to subscribe and turn channel notifications on. There's going to be so many rumors and trades coming up this week. Also be on the lookout for my upcoming video, top five worst trade deadline deals in Major League Baseball history.